How's it going? I want to put a quick video on show people on the basics of multimeters. Now there's a ton of different ones out there, but if you haven't really used one much or if you're watching this, chances are you'll have one like this. Just more basic setups, cheap cheap uh, multimeter. Same here, $20 maybe at Walmart. This is the latest at Walmart, $18 one. But we're going to go ahead and use this one, but I'll show you the differences between them quick. First step is we're going to end up testing a battery, uh, like a one and a half volt battery. On every multimeter, you have your negative, which is calm. And if you're testing volts and resistance of milliamps, you'll have it on one side, it'll say it there. And the other one is just testing current up to 10 amps of current which we'll get into that so if you want to test a battery you're going to have it on volt no matter if you're using household current or say a car battery or a little button battery then you're going to turn your your selector to volts to where you see here on this one actually has the ac and dc because there's a switch to put an ac and dc on this one here you have that volts in the red with that line after it is meaning AC and then the volts in the white with a straight line and then the dots below it means DC and on this one here you got VDC meaning volts DC VAC but then some have a selector to where you can literally do your one and a half nine volt and twelve volt but this does the exact same here so we'll go ahead and turn it to twenty knowing that we're going to be over you know, say one volt, black lead negative, positive lead is uh, red. Just touch it. There you got 1.31 volts. Now picture this as a car battery, your negative terminal, your black one. You'll just go ahead and touch the, the black on the black and red on the red. And I'm getting 13.07 volts. And say you want to measure a voltage on a flashlight run it through the driver just to see how many volts you're running as long as you can access the back which I can on this one I'll have to press down on these this runs on four AA batteries push down on the, the batteries turn it on this this flashlight's running at 5.4 volts now for household current I have an extension cord plugged in here this one here use caution as long as you don't touch any metal parts you'll be all right you get it Go ahead and turn it to AC on ones as this. Like I said, here's volts AC. You want to go to 200 for normal household current. On a cheap one like this one, same thing. The V with the squiggly line. You want to turn it to 200. And this one here, you want to go up to 200 volts. As you know, you're at least 120. Now generally, the small leg on the household current is a positive large leg is negative I'm not sure that this is set up right but we'll find out basically just stick the terminal in like I said do not touch any metal and there I'm getting 124 volts again for voltage household and DC or AC and DC current you want it on this leg your positive one the volts milliamps not the 10 amp side. Now to test amps, you're going to want to pull your positive leg, move it over to the 10 amp side. Now this is for, say, smaller battery on DC. You want to turn your amps setting to the 10 with this positive leg over on the 10 amp side. This is actually a more accurate way to test your batteries, I think. This battery's showing around 2.9 amp. That battery's 5.36 amp and there's a new battery 6.24 amp all these are one and a half volt batteries bigger batteries this is a 18650 fully charged chances are I'm gonna overload it don't leave it attached to it for very long you'll blow that internal fuse out you see that one there overload now the same with any flashlights you want to turn your switch on just like you're testing voltage this is set up for 10 amps leg is on the 10 amp 
uh, side. Now in order to do current draw on any electronics, basically completing the circuit going through one lead and out the other. And you cannot measure current or amps without doing that. You have to break the circuit and have the circuit go through the multimeter. We'll go ahead and put the leads on. Now you see going through this flashlight, I'm running 0.80 amps. If I were to switch over to volts, 5.80. 25 volts times 0.8 amps equals around 4.2 watts so you can determine how many watts a flashlight is by taking your voltage times your amperage which will give you watts same with any other electronics now for say a uh, amps on a now I got a LED light here a 12 volt battery and then a switch like I said in order to determine your amps or current you have to make a circuit so under normal conditions this would be tied together like that so I'm going to break that circuit and tie in my amp meter to that circuit now if you're look at, looking here 0 0.05 amps 0 0.1 would be a tenth of an amp so we're less than a hundredth of an amp with this 12 volt LED which is basically LEDs are just resistors so I'm going to go ahead and switch this over to the milliamp side see if we can read milliamps I got it on put it on 20 milliamps that was overload 200 milliamps gives you a more accurate reading 62 milliamps this light bulb is producing now last but not least is testing circuits which I seem to other than testing batteries multimeters of test view to do that you're gonna want that leg on for the resistance volts milliamps not the 10 amp side and all these multimeters have where you're testing you for your resistance a little looks like a speaker right there you turn it to that which it's hard to see but that one under on the 200's got the little speaker and that one there has a separate one with the speaker now it's simply touching the two terminals onto the fuse or whatever you're testing to see if there's a circuit and then as it now if you notice the numbers going up starts out at one now say you don't have that on a multimeter to speaker when you touch it you're gonna see them numbers try to get to zero starting out at one so you know you have a circuit so pretty easy to test continuity or if you have a circuit on a broken wire or not or fuses so there you go there's a quick rundown on uh, typical multimeters and a quick uh, demonstration on how they how to use them multimeter know-how